Mabuhai, this is Bob from Love Beyond the Sea. My channel is about marriage to a woman from the Philippines. Today I want to talk about one particular aspect of uh, insecurity that was very important for me to get over before I would, you know, find love beyond the sea. And I'm going to cover these uh, securities, just naming them, and then I'll focus on the one. Please subscribe here. I've got over 1,600 videos. I want to help men who are serious about marrying a Filipina. So they list here signs of insecurity, tending to overcompensate, being overly competitive. Number th three, struggles with expressing emotions, sign of insecurity. Four, dominates conversations. Five, even avoids intimacy. And then they have number uh, six, being too defensive, overly defensive is a sign of insecurity being aggressive and controlling, comparing yourself to others, and constantly having a need for validation and masking his true self. The one that struck a chord with me was this number eight, comparing himself to others. They say comparison is a thief of joy, as the saying goes, but for some it's also a sign of hidden insecurities. GEEditing.com, where this comes from. They say if a man is constantly comparing himself to others, like his friends, colleagues, even strangers, it's likely because he's dealing with feelings of inadequacy. He measures his worth based on how he stacks up against others rather than recognizing his own value. And they say the constant comparison can be draining and damaging to his self-esteem. But sadly, it's a cycle many fall into when dealing with insecurity. So perhaps you can relate to... Um, to this one, I think when you're maybe looking for a wife in another country or even where you are, it's best to deal with these insecurities um, as much as you can because it will just, you know, they tend not to get better when you get married, you know, and you want, you want to be sure that you can notice any signs of insecurity and, and possibly do something about it. It certainly doesn't help you when you're looking to get married any of these things and the one about for me comparison I had to get to the point where you know I stopped comparing myself well this person has a girlfriend I don't I've been alone for so long how about that person you know if I was only you know smarter or taller or shorter or bigger or whatever if only that then then things would be better than that were up into 2015 when I was trying to get trying to get married and so you know that kind of unhealthy comparison is not good you want to have confidence you want to have some self-esteem when you go on a dating site you're talking to a woman you know who's just looking for a real man so if you can admit you know your insecurities that will you know make you look good I think for her because you're somebody that she could compare to and and somebody that's willing to and able to be himself and express his feelings. So um, just try to be, you know, you're really competing against yourself, they say, in life. So don't compare yourself to others. I got married when I was 53, but there's people in their 60s and 70s that are still looking for someone to marry, and even younger ones. And so you can't feel like, well, you got to compare yourself to the younger ones, um, you know, and just don't really compare yourself to anybody because they used to say there's always somebody out there for someone, right? Always somebody out there for everybody. And I wasn't too sure that was the case because I do think there's some adjust adjustments you have to make to each other to stay married, some that you don't know about until after you get married. Um, but don't compare yourself to others um, it may be something she can sense and maybe it's a, a turn off you know if somehow she senses you're insecure but I think we all are insecure in some ways I'm just opening up about this one I always felt like you know if I had somebody else's opportunities or situations circumstances you know maybe things would be different for me and maybe that's just normal so let me know what you think and um, make sure that you have some direction in your life and uh, can speak well of yourself when you're talking to your 
love beyond the sea.